from 1 Samuel chapter 17. And then we're going to pray and ask God to speak to us. Philippians chapter 1 verse 27. If you can read Whatever that. Whatever happens, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Then, whether I come and see you or only hear about you in my absence, I will know that you stand firm in one spirit, contending as one man for the faith of the gospel. Amen. We read that in Malayalam. Nyan Ningale Vanda Gandito, Dura Tirana Ningale Avasta Gatito, Ningale Gat Mavil Nilanan, Idrarigal, Undilum Kuringi Pogade, Ega Manasode, Suicesha in the Vishwa Satinai, Poratam Karikin and the Grehiki at the Ne, Christine the Suicesha in Yogia Mamana Matram Nadapi. Amen. Can we read 1 Samuel chapter 17, uh, verses, uh, verses 9 onwards? This is, this is quite a few verses, it's quite a large chapter, but I'd like to take time to, to, to read it. Uh, 1 Samuel chapter 17, verses 9, uh, 9 all the way to, to verse 47, 9 all the way to 47. Can we read that please together? Uh, I know it's quite a few verses, but if we can concentrate, that'll be great. Thank you. Avan and order. Angam Purdi and the Kulua Prathnayal. Nyangal Ningal Kadimulaga. Nyana Mede Chukunal, Ningal Nyangal Kadimula, Nyangal Sevikana. Well, still be named. Nyan in Israel, Nyangal Velibulikino. Nyangal Tamil Angam Purdan, or travel to the Ravine in the Baran. Well, still the Yakul Shaulum, Ella Israel and Gatapol Premiche, eight to five to two. In Nal Davida, Yehuda le bethe hai mili shai in the perulla or a fat in the magan ayirnu. Ishai ke ettu makun daayirnu. Aben shawil in the galta vice in the murthna ayirnu. Ishai da muta makal move in purapatta shawil in the gude yuthathun yendirnu. Yuthathun boy muda makal adi jadan eliabu. Aben anjan abin abina daabu unavatan shamiyu ayirnu. Davido ella veri vela ven muta ven move in muta var move in shawil in the gude poirnu. David is seven radical in that, and the up and the article make you one. We have the Hemil Poivica Padivairu, A Palestin, Nalpur, Sumudan, other Avle, Vaigneru, Umbo to Vanunu, Ishai, and the Maganai Davi Road Varna, Iori Varamalim, Upam Batu Editor, Palatum in the Sahon Mar Radical Vag and Kutti in the Kotukuga, E. Palkatapatum Sasra in Kotukuga, in the Sahon Mar to Chairman Choriche, Echum Wang Veriga, Shaulu Avenu. Israel came, Elas, Ela, Tarbury, Pelestro, Tunchi, Nunda, Angana Davida, Adiga, Terminator, Article Kavakan, the local teacher, Ishai, the notable Pichu came at the Mundrinu, Kainil, Ethiopol, Sainim, Padaka, Arthur, which went up for Padaka, Israel and Palestine, Nerkere, and Iranu, and Iranu Ninu, David and the Sah, David. And the Saman and Patakobu Sushi and the Bakalel Pichunda, Anni Lodi Chunda, and the whole Mara to Kushan Shodichu. I will never order some side children in Kumbal, Gitinaya, Gonya, and the Velasti Malan, Velasti Rude, the Revelin for a Pitu and the Mumbil and the Vakal Dane, Parain of the Davi the Ketu. I will a Kanda Polisail who came eight to five Pitta and the Mumbil Nodi, a Polisail Isail, one of the Kanavere Kanduo. Our Israel and Nikiwan on the Nikino, Avena Kulinane, Kulinane, Raja, Mahas, Avena Kim, and the Magale Avan Kudukim, Avena Kudukan, Israel, Karamadu, Alpichi Kudukim, Chayu in the Baran, Apol David, and the Adakan Kuno Rode, E. Palace Kuna, Israel and the Nikhalinone, Yendu Kodukum, Jimor Ladeva, Tina Senegal, Nikwani, Agrachomia, Palestin Ara, Yendu Baranu, Avena Chenam. I will call him an Indian okay, Kodukun, I will do Trumparanu. I will do, I will subside Kimada, I will move the gesture, Elia Bukata, Davino Kovichu, Nibuda and Dilmanu, my family, Akure Adele, Adelini, Arde Pakil Tachibonu, Ninda Hangaru, Nigla Pau, Enkaria, Padakan Manelini, one of the end of Paranu, Adin David, Yani Poland, the Chay, Uruak, Lever and Ulu in the Paranu. I will never marry, but to 
ഇവന്റെ നിമിത്തം ആരും അധൂരിപ്പെടേണ്ട അടിയച്ചുന്ന ഈ പലസിനോട് അങ്കം പൊരുതും എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു ഷൗൾ ദാവിദിനോട് ഈ പലസിനോട് ചെന്ന അങ്കം പൊരുതുവാൻ നിനക്ക് പ്രാപ്തിയില്ല നീ ബാലിന് അത്ര അവരോ ബാല്യം മുതൽ യോദ്ധാവുന്നു എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു ദാവിദ് ഷൗലിനോട് പറഞ്ഞത് അടിയനപ്പന്റെ ആടുകളെ മേയിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുമ്പോൾ ഒരിക്കലും ഒരു സിംഹവും ഒരിക്കലും ഒരു കരടിയും വന്ന കൂട്ടത്തിൽ നിന്ന് ആട്ടിൻകുട്ടിയെ പിടിച്ചു ഞാൻ പിന്തുടർന്നതിനെ അടിച്ച് അതിന്റെ വായിൽ ആട്ടിൻകുട്ടിയെ വിടുവിച്ച് അതെന്റെ നേരെ വന്നപ്പോൾ ഞാൻ അതിനെ താടിക്ക് പിടിച്ച് അടിച്ചു കൊന്നു ഇങ്ങനെ അടിയൻ സിംഹത്തെയും കരടിയെയും കൊന്നു ഈ അഗ്രശർമ്മിയായ ബലസൻ ജീവുള്ള ദൈവത്തിന്റെ സൈന്യത്തെ നിന്നിച്ചിരിക്കുകൊണ്ട് അവനും അവയിൽ ഒന്നിനെ പോലെയാകും ദാവിദിന്റെയും സിംഹത്തിന്റെ കയ്യിൽ നിന്നും കരടിയുടെ കയ്യിൽ നിന്നും എന്നെ രക്ഷിച്ച യഹോവൈ ബലസ്തിന്റെ കയ്യിൽ നിന്നും എന്നെ രക്ഷിക്കുമെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു ശവൽ ദാവിദിനോട് ചെല്ലുക യഹോവ നിന്നോട് കൂടെ ഇരിക്കുമെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു ശവൽ തന്നെ പട പടയങ്കി ദാവിനെ ധരിപ്പിച്ചു അവന്റെ തലയിൽ താമ്രശിസ്ത്രം വെച്ച് തന്റെ കവച്ചും അവനെ അടിവെച്ചു പടയങ്കി മേൽ അവന്റെ വാളും കെട്ടി ദാവിദ് നടക്കുവാൻ നോക്കി എന്നാൽ അവന് ശീലമില്ലായിരുന്നു ദാവിദ് ശവലിനോട് ഞാൻ ശീലിച്ചിട്ടില്ല ധരിച്ചും കൊണ്ട് നടക്കുവാൻ എനിക്ക് കഴിയില്ല എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു അവയെ ഊരി വെച്ചു പിന്നെ അവൻ തന്റെ വടിയെടുത്ത് തോട്ടിൽ നിമിഷമുള്ള അഞ്ചു കാലിൽ തിരഞ്ഞെടുത്ത് ഇടയസഞ്ചിയായ പൊക്കളത്തിലിട്ടു കയ്യിൽ കമണിയുമായ ബലസ്റ്റിനോടടുത്തു ബലസ്റ്റിന് ദാവിദിനോടടുത്തു പരിചയ പരിചയ പരിചയക്കാരനും അവന് മുമ്പേ നടന്നു ബലസ്റ്റിൻ നോക്കി ദാവിനെ കണ്ട പോലെ അവനെ നിന്ദിച്ചു അവൻ ധീരവാദനും പഴുതി നിറമുള്ളവനും കോമള രൂപനുമായിരുന്നു ബലസ്റ്റിൻ ദാവിദിനോട് നീ വടികളുമായി എന്റെ നേരെ വരുവാൻ ഞാൻ നായോ എന്ന് ചോദിച്ചു തന്റെ ദേവന്മാരോട് നാം ചൊല്ലി ദാവിന് ശപിച്ചു ബലസ്റ്റിൻ ദാവിദിനോട് ഇങ്ങോട്ട് വാ ഞാൻ നിന്റെ മാംസാഹാസത്തിലെ ഭക്ഷ്യവിൽക്കും കാട്ടിലെ മൃഗങ്ങൾക്ക് വിരയായിരിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു ദാവീദ് ബലസ്റ്റിനോട് ദാവീദ് ബലസ്റ്റിനോട് പറഞ്ഞത് നീ വാളും കുന്തവും വേലും വേലുമായി എന്റെ നേരെ വരുന്നു ഞാനോ നീ നിന്നിച്ചിട്ടുള്ള ഇസ്രായേലിനോട് ദൈവമായ സൈനികരുടെ ഹോവയുടെ ഭാവത്തിൽ നിന്റെ നേരെ വരുന്നു
striving. Verse 27, Philippians chapter 1, verse 27. See, when we have to walk in, the, in a manner that is worthy of the gospel of Jesus Christ, it always includes warfare. It includes strife. It includes contenting. We cannot expect to walk in a manner that is worthy of the gospel of Christ and hope that there is no warfare. Many of us want to walk in a manner that is worthy of the gospel of Jesus Christ. But we get discouraged and we say, oh, we want to walk with God. But we are not willing to fight for the sake of the gospel. And we can try and walk with God. And, but if we say we are willing to walk but we don't want to fight, then you can never walk. We have to be ready for striving for the sake of the gospel because you cannot separate both of them. You cannot separate warfare and walking for the sake of the gospel. The theme that is given to me tonight is a walk that is worthy of the gospel of Jesus Christ in relation to personal life. And that is why I read a story about a war. A war between a small boy called David and a big giant called Goliath. And if you learn some things about warfare, it will help you to walk with Jesus. Amen. We all want to walk with Jesus, but when we walk with Jesus, one of the first things we have to learn is, how do we go through warfare? The Bible says that our warfare is not against flesh and blood. It's against powers and principalities. You have to know what warfare is if you have to walk with Jesus. So I want to suggest to you some of the keys that the Holy Spirit, I believe, wants us to know tonight in order for us to walk with Jesus and walk victoriously. Are you ready? Here is key number one. In verse 9 of chapter 17, 1 Samuel chapter 17, Goliath says, if he is able to fight with me and kill me, then we will be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then you shall be our servants and you shall serve us. Goliath says, if you are able to fight with me and kill me, Goliath is saying, if we prevail against you, if we prevail against you, if we prevail against you, or if you prevail against us, the first lie of the enemy is making us believe making us believe that we are responsible for the fight. We are not responsible for the fight. Yeah. God's principle, Churches 
have been fasting and praying for tonight's meeting, I felt God say to me that there are many people here thinking that there are many challenges in front of me. How will I ever fight it? The enemy has come against me. But you know what David says? David says, this uncircumcised Philistine has defied the armies of the living God. Amen, amen. He has not defied you. He has not defied your church. He has not defied your children. He has not defied your family. When the enemy comes against you, what he has defied is the name of the Lord Jesus Christ himself. And if he starts to fight against the name of the Lord Jesus, I know my Bible says that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. The battle is not yours, the battle belongs to Jesus. When you walk with Jesus, you have to remember this. The devil will always try and lie and say, you and I are going to fight. Remember, there is no fight between you and him. The fight is between him and God. We stand and receive the victory. But every time you think the fight is yours, that's when you begin to lose. Hello? But when we know that what Goliath or what the enemy is saying is a lie, we overcome the enemy. Here is key number two. In verse 28, in verse 28, his brother says to him, Why have you come down? With whom have you left? the few sheep in the wilderness. I know your presumption and the evil of your heart, for you have come down just to see the battle. When you start walking with Christ, always expect misunderstanding. Not everybody will applaud you. Not everybody will congratulate you. Not everybody will be happy for you. Not everybody will pray for you. Some other people will pray against you. Some other people will smile in front of you and gossip behind your back. I thank God for the 10th conference. And I thank God for the leadership team that have done this. But I promise you, even as we do this, there will be lots of other people who will say lots of things. And we, we can try and walk with Jesus. But one of the areas that the children of God get stuck is we get offended when people don't like us. Turn to the person sitting next to you and say, not everybody will like you. Say, you look good, but not everybody will like you. You look good, but not everybody will like you. Yeah? Not everybody will like you. Not everybody will like you. Here's the, here's the thing about discouragement and misunderstanding. Discouragement and misunderstanding will often come from people who are closest to you. David is discouraged. Sondan sahod, sondan muta sahod na varay na. Diyan din ay varay na yudan garan liyo na yada lo kaya diyan. Those closest to you, those that love you, will sometimes discourage you more Amen. than the people who are against you. Ah, when I was praying for the meeting tonight, I felt God say to me that there are many people here who are stuck in the trap of offense. We are offended. He turned to the next person and said the same thing. 
ദാവിദ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞേ ദാവിദ് പറഞ്ഞു അയ്യോ ഇങ്ങനെ ഈ ഇയാളെ കൊന്നാല് രാജാവ് എന്തു തരുമെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞേ എന്നൊക്കെ ചോദിച്ചു ചോദിച്ചപ്പം ഈ മൂത്ത സഹോദരം കേട്ട് മൂത്ത സഹോദരൻ പറഞ്ഞു നീ എന്തിനാ ഇവിടെ വന്ന യുദ്ധം കാണാനല്ലേ വന്നേ നാട് ആടുകളെല്ലാം അവിടെ കിടക്കുന്നു എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞപ്പം ദാവിദ് എന്തു പറഞ്ഞേ And the Bible says, he turned aside, turned to this next person and said the same thing. Said the same thing. He wasn't offended. He didn't get stuck. He just ignored the offense and moved on and kept focusing, kept going. And the Bible wants us to know tonight that he wants you to keep going. He wants you to forget that which is behind and press on. Fear looks like wisdom. 
in the heart of those with unbelief. Bayam chalpanyanam boleri. If your heart is full of unbelief. That's good. good advice. But that's not good advice. That's unbelief. Amen. That is unbelief. That's the spirit of unbelief. Amen. And sometimes people will come and give you great advice. But what you need to hear is not the advice. What you need to hear is the spirit behind the advice. Amen. What you need to hear is the spirit behind the advice. Pilate namak advice said we need to know what is the spirit behind the advice that we get. Who are you? You are just a boy. Who are you? You are just a boy. Can I say something to all the parents here? To all the parents. Your son is not just a boy. Your son is not just a boy. He's a potential king. Your son is not just a boy. He's a potential warrior. But inside David, there was a warrior spirit. There was a warrior spirit. He had more courage than the entire army of Israel put together. Try to champion your children.
കല്ലെറിഞ്ഞ ഒരാളെ കൊല്ലുകയും തമ്മിൽ വല്ല ബന്ധമാണ് ഹി ഇസ് ടോക്കിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് എൻ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് എ മെത്തഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ഫ്രോം ദ മെത്തഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഹി എംപ്ലോയ്ഡ് നൗ വുഡ് യു അഗ്രി ഹിസ് പ്രീവിയസ് മെത്തഡ് വാസ് ദാറ്റ് ഹി വുഡ് ഗോ ആൻഡ് ക്യാച്ച് the lion or catch the bear and rescue the sheep yet if you look at the victory that david won he didn't go and catch goliath's jaw amen he stood at a distance and threw a stone that teaches me something you can be young in experience but the god who brought you through everything in the past he will bring you through this even though the methods may be different the god we serve is still the same Okay 
Verse 11 says, when Saul and the army heard these words, they were afraid. And verse 16 says, this happened for 40 days. Okay, watch this very carefully. Watch this very carefully. Verse 16. The Bible says this in verse uh, verse 20. David rose early. David rose early in the morning, left the sheep with a keeper and took the provisions and went as Jesse had commanded him. He came to the encampment as the army was going forth to battle, shouting the war cry. Everybody say that with me. Say, shouting the war cry. Shouting the war cry. What's that battle cry? There is a battle cry. So how many days has this, has this been going for? 40 days. But even though it's been going on for 40 days, in the camp of the Israel, on the camp of the Israelites, the battle cry is still there. The battle cry is still there. And, and the Bible says this in verse 24. All Israelites, when they saw the man, they fled from him and they were very much afraid. We can have a loud noise, but if the noise is not backed up by faith, in essence, it's not faith at all. So here is the Philistine crying and they are afraid and they run away. Second day, battle cry. He comes, they are afraid and run away. Third day, battle cry. They are afraid, they run away. Even on the 40th day, the battle cry was still there. But the fear also was still there. Battle cry. If you want to walk a life that is worthy of the gospel. You know what is one of the things that needs to be broken over our lives and broken over our churches? It is the cycle of failure. The cycle of failure. You fall into something again and again and again and again. And then the battle cry, the battle cry, the battle cry. Next day we fall again. Next day the battle cry, the battle cry. We fall. Battle cry, battle cry, battle cry. And then we fall again. Father God, and then we fall. You know what is needed? What you need is not a battle cry. What you need is faith. When did we swear Faith is what enables you to walk your life with Jesus. That's what empowers you to walk with Jesus. I want to tell you this. It doesn't matter how often you have fallen into that cycle of sin. God says here tonight that by the power of the Holy Spirit, that cycle is broken. It's broken, it's broken, it's broken, it's broken, it's broken, it is 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 broken. It's broken. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar. He tells you, you've tried before, you've failed. We've heard this battle cry before, you've failed. We've heard this battle cry before, you've failed. Here then, young and Sabin, Uru Vishwasi, the dog under the dog in the pair, I call them hypo gamma global anemia. Not a dog in the pair. No medical cure. The doctor said there's no cure. I think it affects 1 in 50,000 people. You know, I think the Pratia or Chale, the organ will be involved. You have no defense. Now, there are many doctors and nurses here, so you know better what's happening. Isa Hodan, 
എപ്പോഴും പ്രാർത്ഥനയ്ക്ക് വരും സാധനം പറയും ദൈവത്തിനെ സൗഖ്യമാക്കും ദൈവത്തിനെ സൗഖ്യം പ്രാർത്ഥനയ്ക്ക് വരും ടെസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യും ഒന്നും നടക്കത്തില്ല പക്ഷേ ഈ സഹോദരൻ്റെ മനസ്സിൽ എന്തോ പറഞ്ഞു ഒരു ദിവസം ദൈവത്തിനെ സൗഖ്യമാക്കും ഒരു ദിവസം സഭയിൽ വന്നപ്പോൾ ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു ഇന്ന് സഭയുടെ മുമ്പിൽ വാ ഞങ്ങൾ സഭയായിട്ട് സഹോദരന് വേണ്ടി പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാൻ പോകാം മൈക്കിലോ ആയിരുന്നു സൗരന് വേണ്ടി പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ചു ആഡൻ ബ്രൂക്സ് കേംബ്രിഡ്ജ് ഹോസ്പിറ്റലിൽ രണ്ട് ദിവസം കഴിഞ്ഞ് ടെസ്റ്റിന് പോയി ടെസ്റ്റിന് പോയി കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് ആ കൺസൾട്ടൻറ്റ് തിരിച്ച് എഴുതിയിട്ട് പറഞ്ഞു മിസ്റ്റർ ലോയിഡ് അപ്പിയേഴ്സ് ലൈക്ക് യുവർ ലെവൽസ് ആർ നോ അപ്പം മൈക്ക് തിരിച്ച് എഴുതിയിട്ട് പറഞ്ഞു ഐ റിയലി കൺഫ്യൂസ് വാട്ട് യു മീൻ ഇൻ അപ്പിയേഴ്സ് that it is normal i don't understand is this permanent is this permanent and the consultant wrote back and said oh, only time will tell but it appears so Amen. it appears so adukoda njan oru karyam padichu endha nariya nammal etra prasham prarthichittu vidudal kittiyillengil pinne prarthikkanam pinne prarthikkanam it doesn't matter how many times you have fallen into the cycle it doesn't matter how many days you have got up and said today today i will defeat the cycle today i will defeat my giant and today i will take this giant down but you fall again you get up again you fall again and you get up again when that happens the enemy will come to you and tell you you will never succeed you will never win you will never break the cycle but i came here to announce to you Let's hear it. 
Sorry? You have to speak louder. Is it because what, sorry? The sticks are harmful. The sticks are harmful? Not harmful. Sorry, I'm not harmful. getting that. Not harmful. Not harmful? Wrong one. Wrong one? Great, great answer. Can you give that, can you give that guy a great hand? Thank you for accepting. <laughs> Thanks. What's your name? Chris. Chris? Yeah, come see me after, okay? I want to chat to you. Great answer. Great answer. You see, sometimes we can start a battle. We can start a battle. And this is another lie of the enemy. The enemy will get us to focus on something that we are not going to use anyway. He will get us to focus on something that will not be useful anyway.
Key number seven. Key number seven. In verse 47 it says this. Number the era of the Wakitri. The Lord does not save by the sword and the spear. For the battle is the Lord's. And he will give all of you into our hands. Everybody say our hands. He didn't say my hand. My hand and the He will give all of you into our hands. One of the lies of the enemy is to make you believe that you are on your own. That you are fighting this on your own. But you see the church of Jesus Christ united is victorious. Your battle is my battle. Your victory is my victory. And when Goliath is defeated, it is our victory, not my victory. When we see our children on fire for God, it is our victory, just your victory. When we see our churches are full and impacting our community, it is our victory. It's not your victory. If your church that is in Manchester or Birmingham is doing incredibly well and the move of God is going on so powerfully there, I am in very St. Edmunds and I may have never visited your church, but I promise you this, that is my victory. That is my victory. And the enemy will tell you that you are on your own. You've got nobody to help you. You're fighting this on your own. I want to tell you something. When we come together as a church of Jesus Christ, there is power in unity. The Bible says when two or three agree upon one thing, my Father in heaven will do it. Whatever is agreed on earth will be agreed in heaven. We are together as a church, not divided. That is why this conference is going to be a blessing. Because we are here united. And it is our battle. Can, I, can you say that to the person next to you? Say it's our battle. It's not your battle. It's our battle. It's our victory. It's our victory. It's our victory. Here's the last key. This my time is up and I'm going to close. Saul gets David to wear some of his armor. David says, I can't, I can't do this. I'm not used to this. And many of us think that the reason we succeed is because of the support we have from other people. Remember, what makes you succeed is not the support you have. What makes you succeed is the faith you have. Amen. That's what makes you succeed. Hallelujah. We think, support help we can still be victorious because God in us, Christ in us, is the hope of glory. He that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. Tell me of God before us who can be against us. Who can be against us? I've given you eight keys tonight. Eight keys. See, in the kingdom, Everything depends on keys. It's with the keys that you open, it's with the keys that you close. Use these keys to fight the good fight, to strive for the gospel, so that you can live a life that is worthy of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? I'm gonna invite you to close your eyes, to lift your hands, I'm going to ask you to start praying that God will enable you to learn the keys of spiritual warfare. Everybody, if you can pray together, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let's pray, let's pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I declare that your church is victorious. Father, I declare that your grace is enough. Father, I declare that your blood is effective. Thank you, Lord. I Father, I declare that you are faithful. Father, I declare that your Holy Spirit is a present comforter. Father, I declare that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous can run into him and they are safe. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that we will receive an anointing to pray. That we will receive an enablement to pray. Father, I declare that the spirit of failure is broken. Father, I declare that the spirit of fear is broken. Father, I declare that the spirit of victory is released. Father, I declare that the strength of the Holy Spirit is released. Father, I declare that the power of the Word of God is released. Father, I declare that the third person of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit, is coming into our hearts.
trust Him and in her celebrate the victory that you have in store for us. Father, I declare that regardless.